like to take this opportunity to render my sincere gratitude to UDSM main campus and DPS for considering us to be part of this important training, aiming at imparting skills to Musa staff on how to carry out meaningful postgraduate research supervision. I would also like to thank CEDA program, which is the key finance of this particular activity. Um, we are so grateful for the support that is extended to us through CEDA. Thus, it is the indubitable truth that this postgraduate research supervision training has come timely to solve our needs. The training will reduce the try and error method that is employed by most of the academic uh, in the supervision process, or oh, some of us are trying to mimic the method where, that our former supervisors did on us. So this one would solve those challenges that we are facing now and then. It is well known that the quality of postgraduate products depends on the quality teaching and supervision. The quality of the postgraduate students has been questioned by educational practitioners and the general public as it's suspected that some students have illegal presentation of findings which have not worked for. This dishonesty is unacceptable as it tarnishes the reputation of the education and the universities in general. Even though the students are the ones to be blamed, but supervisors cannot be separated from the dishonesty. Supervisors should perform their duties as well as to ensure that the work presented by the students is genuine and deserve the desired award. Needless to say, Musa is growing at a very great pace and currently the, uh, we have more than 40 PhDs. I believe that this training will surely play such a great role in empowering our staff on how to carry out the meaningful, ethical, honest and the competitive postgraduate research supervision to enable Musa and the University of Islam to accomplish the vision 2061 of the University of Islam. To be, that is to become a leading center for intellectual wealth, spearheading the quest for sustainable and inclusive development. With these few words, I now declare official the training is open. Thank you. But there is also use of systematic procedures in conducting research. There must be certain systematic procedures or methods of investigation of an issue that lead to demonstration of clarity of thought through logical coordination of ideas and themes. A third guarantee is empiricism, an approach to the verity or reality of issues through use of one or more of the five human senses. You can see something, you can smell something, you can taste, you can touch, or you can hear. Training ya lady kwa nzuri sana ilendesho na Professor Ishumi na ameweza kutuonyesha umuhimu wa research kwenye chuo kwa cha Dar es Salaam. Ameonyesha vile vile kwa nini hii training ije kwetu sisi. Na kwa kweli hata mimi nimekubaliana naye kwamba tunahitaji kuboresha ili tuweze kusonga mbele hasa kama chuo na kama inchi vile vile kwenye utafiti. Lakini moja wapo ya jambo ambalo nimejifunza ni kwamba uh, umuhimu wa kuwa wa kufanya tafiti katika kuleta maendeleo ili swala migusiwa na mmoja wa wazeshaji wetu ni kivipi tafiti zinahusiana au zinahusiana moja kwa moja na maendeleo lakini pia jambo lingine uwezeshaji wetu ametusisitiza kuzingatia 
kwamba katika kila andiko linaloandikwa na mwanafunzi wa shahada za juu ni lazima kuwe na wazo kuu wazo kuu ambalo linajenga msingi wa mjadala ama msingi wa kutafiti kwa maana ya kwamba kuwepo na main thesis ama main argument katika andiko lolote ambalo linaandikwa sisi kama wahadhiri wa chuo cha Dar es Salaam na kwa tawi hili la e, la mkwawa tujue tuki tukisupervise wanafunzi wetu wa walilai wapi wa, wa, waandikeje ripoti zao na dissertation zao na hiki ndio kilikuwa kitu kizuri sana sana kwa leo na uki, uki, watu kila mtu amefly ame na nafikiri hii training paki naisha kila mtu atapata uelewa mkubwa Ah, maoni yangu ni kwamba ni kuzingatia tu kila ambacho tumefundishwa na hasa kwenye uhalisia wa utekelezaji hasa tunapoanza kuwa na wanafunzi wa masters ama PhD kuzingatia tu zile kanuni misingi na taratibu ambazo tunapaswa kuzifanya au kuzingatia kwa mfano wajibu wetu wajibu wa wanafunzi wajibu wa taasisi pia kama uh, uh, taasisi zetu za elimu ya juu pia zinazo wajibu wa kufanya ili kuhakikisha kwamba huu mchakato mzima wa mafunzo katika shahada za juu unafanikiwa kwa ufanisi. Training ya leo imetuwezesha kupata uzoefu zaidi na kujifunza kutoka kwa members of staff ambao ni kutoka University of Dar es Salaam kuhusu namna ya kuandika proposal na kuwaengage wanafunzi wetu ambao tutakuwa tunawasimamia awe na justification nzuri ya kile anachoandika kwa sababu anaenda kufanya utafiti kwa lazima ajiandae vizuri kile anachotaka kufanyia utafiti kiko sahihi kwa kiasi gani na sababu ni zipi ili aweze kufanya utafiti bora zaidi and we also learned about the drivers of research key drivers of research which were four the theories uh, the hypothesis which we seek to prove or dis, uh, disprove the data we collect to support our hypothesis or probably uh, disprove the hypothesis and the empirical generalizations the, the, the meaning we derive from from the data what you taught us is very very useful and what i'm going to say here is that uh, i was particularly uh, attracted by uh, the way you presented the, some of the materials yesterday uh, number one uh, is the, the importance of supervisors to have a healthy relationship with their supervisee i'm here to say something on behalf of the all participants actually the staffs which were presented here i can say we are full of knowledge well structured and presented by the very competent resource persons sincerely from my heart and i think you will join me to say congratulations for very very good presentations well structured packed with a lot of knowledge and uh, of course new knowledge also so for sure we are privileged to get this uh, uh, facilitators and uh, the team from the directorate of the public services and we wish uh, another time we can get another training maybe of the same kind because we are actually getting new new doctors who are supposed to supervise students but also reminding the old supervisors also for the good supervision and uh, before i finish i'm here also to say thanks to musa management for giving us the facilities and the other things which make these presentations uh, good and of course even the environment you can agree with me that we are well kept getting each and everything from inside the room and also from the outside and the time i can only say i've also been blessed as much as we've been blessed to meet doctors so many doctors in one room with the eagerness to learn something new or to better themselves 
and um, somebody said uh, you should come again and again and again and incapacitate us but you should be enterprising because now you have certificates don't you yes. you have certificates use your certificates to become trainers it can be done isn't it yes. it's not about brain surgery yeah. it's uh, no more subjects that we've been talking about. So don't just go and bury your certificate. Read more. You have our emails. If there's anything you need, just let us know. But make sure that you develop those certificates into something, a tool that you can use. Isn't it? Yes. Uh, I'd like to thank the organization of the whole uh, program. And um, we are also looking forward to a continuation engagement. This should not be the end. As I said, once you meet a human being, you never know where the meeting can take you. Um, let us network. We are all in academ academics. We are all in proposal writing. We are all in collaborations. And if we can collaborate with Mkwawa, I think we'll be collaborating with a tank of thinkers. We thank Levina for taking care of us. Uh, we never miss anything in terms of advice, everything. And um, as she said, truly, we are trying to put back to the community. We are what we are by not only God's grace, but by the University of Dar Islam also. So I wish you all the best as we embark on the journey of uh, being academicians, and we hope to see you soon. Without much words, I think every one of us who has taken part uh, in this important occasion because this is the duty of many hands. The facilitators could not do their job without participants. Participants could not do this job without the organizers, the other drivers, uh, those who, the cooks, and all of those who have helped us in one way or another, I appreciate all of us. But uh, the, when we thank, in Technical in Kiswahili, we are saying, Shukuru ni kuamba ten. So we, receive, we also request the facilitators. Please don't forget if we need you at Muse, please bear with us, because as the young generation, as the enthusiastic as it is, needs more from you. We need to learn, we need to grow. We need to also to grow the academic radar to, to, to locate ourselves in the global map.